In this video, we will bring you dynamic slideshow tutorial in Filmora. Hey everyone, welcome to the Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box, click on the free download option. Now a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First, drop your image or video on track 1. Double click on it. Then go to the animation, add a blank keyframe at the start, set the scale at 110% at the end. Located at 1 second and 5th frame, go to effect and drop square blur effect. Keep it 5 seconds long. Then split the effect at 1 second and 23rd frames. Click on the first square blur and change the size to 0. Then click on second part and change the size to 3. Again, drop the square blur on track 3. Split the effect at 3 frames further. Then split the effect at 7 frames further. Then split the effect at 3 frames further and delete the rest of the effect. Click on the first part of the effect and change the size to 0. Do the same to the last effect clip. Go to the transitions and apply dissolve transition on track 3. Double click to set the duration for 5 frames long. Also apply it on track 2 effect and keep transition for 1 second. Then drop your image on track 3 at 1 second and 20th frame. Reduce sail to 50% and remove the part after 5 seconds. Then go to the elements and under film stock search for frame. Here you will get lots of the options to choose from. Drop your frame above the image on track 3, double click on the frame, adjust its size to match the image perfectly. Drag the keyframe at the starting point. Select your picture and set rotation to negative 20. Do the same with frame, then drag your picture out of the screen using X axis, same as the frame. Now go to 2 second and bring back frame and image by setting X axis to negative 660. Rotate to negative 15 degrees, locate at 2 second and 28th frame, and change rotation to negative 5 and X axis to 68. Do the same with your picture. Go to the end and set increase scale by 5 for frame and picture. Then go to the titles and scroll down and download shooting pack from film stock. Then you will get some amazing overlay to create stylish image or video slideshow. Drop title 1 on track 5. Double click on it and remove the text. Change scale to 90% at 1 second and 5th frame. Change scale to 85% at 5 frames further. Then go 5 frames further and set scale to 90%. Reduce opacity to 0% at 1 second and 26th frame. Then go to the transition and apply flash transition on your picture and frame and keep it 5 to 10 frame long. Click on render preview for smooth playback. Now to make it more dynamic, we can add a shadow effect to your sliding picture and frame. Let's render it for final preview. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!